What's up everybody? Thanks for watching. For today's video, that's the final video on the Ripple wall. There's just a couple of topics that I just want to go over to make sure you have an idea of how the jig's going to work and some last minute adjustments I made to it. So let's get started. I made a little bit of changes to it and I'll show you how, how much easier it is with this jig. So this is the new jig. This is the guide right here on the back side. You can loosen this. Oh. <laughs> you can loosen that. Uh, to make sure you get a, a straight cut. Now I just want to cover a couple of things before you purchase this or before you begin. Is this easy? If you've done router work and you, you've, you've used a router, you kind of understand the concepts of it um, and, and you're pretty confident with the router. If you use it on a couple of projects, this, it, it's a pretty simple build. It, it's, you're literally just almost tracing lines out but the hard part is we're, we're not robots so this is made with a CNC machine so it can get tiring making sure you're going along the same line over and over and over we're not a computer and a little mess up ruined the whole wall I guess my second attempt the first one I had tried and I've, I've used different jigs that's why I came up with this one but the first one I messed up the I think I did the rounds and then the center messed up and so I just flipped the plywood around and I redid this one. So it was the first plywood one that was complete. Uh, it was my second attempt with this jig. A whole, a whole lot smoother than what I was trying before with clamps and doing all that stuff. The other thing you'll probably notice is there's two slots for the router. My reasoning was going down one way was pretty simple. Uh, going down the opposite way the router would fight us a lot and so what I came up with is I just kind of slid the router another router slot over here so we're still kind of going in the same direction we're going this way and I found it to be a little bit easier than trying to fight it or come up the other side every time I would try to come up it's a gamble I never missed but it was scary like starting from the bottom coming up um, so when I did this and I reversed it it's doable again um, this will not replace a fluted ripple wall. I don't think you could probably do a fluted ripple wall with this one. Remember, routers are only meant to cut off a little bit, so you're maybe taking off one eighth or, or one sixteenth, and it's kind of giving you the same illusion if you have a ripple wall. This is doing the same thing, just cutting off um, less, and it's not a machine. The machine's gonna be taking off more and more and more, but what they'll do, like with a fluted router, there's a small little example like the fluted one where you see it's almost like a rope uh, you'll see this so there's different ripple that is cut on a CNC and they use this this is a point cutted round over bit um, it has a point at the end and this is done at multiple passes so it's not just one ripping through this whole thing and going all around it's multiple passes until you get deep enough to where you get the look you're going for um, but that's not gonna be possible trying it on something like this you're talking about doing the ripple wall almost probably going four cuts without messing up uh very highly unlikely that you're gonna do that you're you're not a robot um it's just it's that's something for a cnc machine so that's why i created this jig to kind of give you the same look without paying over a thousand dollars for a ripple wall which they're expensive they're worth it you got to think those machines that create these they're very expensive and it is time consuming going over each one each one but in a massive four by eight sheet uh, it adds up pretty quick so you're looking over a thousand dollars usually for a ripple this is just a different version of the ripple wall this just I just wanted to let you know you're not creating the fluted one that's gonna be left for an actual CNC machine so again it's not hard but you do need experience with the router if, if you have experience with the router and you can kind of and you're gonna know hey well my arms are gonna be pretty tired after making the ripple wall but yeah you you can do it definitely and then um, I'm also adding the plans and I'll very I'll be uh, as descriptive as I can in the plans to kind of give you uh, everything you need to create the same wall that I did mainly what you're gonna need is patience a steady hand and experience with the router and nah this is take about two to three hours I'd recommend taking a break halfway through you know if you don't um, and you're maybe not sure I would definitely wait on wait on it to make sure maybe try some other um, try some other things with the router and see how that works out for kind of jumping to something like this because you definitely need to have experience with the router you also want to keep your fingers away from from the bit and so when you're doing something like this you have a couple of parts you're, you're controlling the jig um, you're making sure your router doesn't come out and you're trying to stay straight so if you don't have that experience with the router it's easily to focus on one thing and forget about something else and safety is number one so uh, keep your hands steady don't let it jump out you got to watch out with the router uh, so definitely experience helps we're 
we're really only taking this one I took out one eighth really shallow really easy so if you're not sure go shallow and I did the one eighth the thing was really easy passing away with one eighth and I kind of give a little bit more description in the plans with the router but I only took one eighth of this off which is very tiny it was just very little and it came out which is not even that much and one eighth and you can see like this wall came together definitely see the ripple effect it has in this wall so definitely worth it didn't even take off this much the green one over there a little bit more with the green one um, but definitely I would recommend taking off less and man it, it it, it doesn't look like much here, but when you get back and you see the whole effect that it has Definitely worth it It was definitely a lot easier with the beige and then if you see that little Corner top one right there. Um, that was also one that I made and I messed up I went the I didn't line up at the bottom So I actually just chopped it off right there at the center So now I have a little a side moon a half feet wide and that one is three feet wide I definitely love the way that one came out. So right now I'm flush right against this. The bit is not even touching the wood yet. And I'm gonna slowly raise it up just a tiny bit. Just You'll start seeing this go up just a tiny bit. Do not take out a lot and I'm just using the micro adjuster it's pushing down and I can see it raising up I raise it up slightly to about the middle of this um, outer edging the plastic I kind of go about the middle of it so it's not even raised up that much and that's all I'm gonna do it doesn't take much to give that effect that we need and the less is always going to be better um, because then the more you try to take out the right the router it'll fight you so take out just a little bit just to create the design we want the look we want without the right router fighting us make sure we're lined up with our line here so we know we're 90 lift the back of this up as you can see I made a new little jig that kind of helps out a little bit uh, but the main thing so your router doesn't fight you is you're barely taking off a little bit if you start taking if you start feeling the router fighting you you're taking off too much it's mainly for a decorative look we're not really trying to route out channels here it's just a light little um and it's it'll it should glide through no problem we're gonna place it right in the groove We kept it the same height. Once we're right in the groove, where I messed up last time was actually I cut the ed I cut the round part at the top, and um, your base, this little base right here that I'm making, you don't want to cut the round top yet. You save cutting the round at the top for the very last step um, because that little jig that I have, that little long piece that goes this way, it plans on riding on this. So if this is square you're going to be going straight but if you cut that edge it's going to make it a little difficult trying to line up that square so save that cutting the round top off for the very last step and you'll see me how this little thing um, this little jig that i made just glides along here all the way from back there so definitely don't cut off to the very end
<laughs> I finished this side what I've learned from doing this over and over and over again is do the difficult side which is gonna be um, if you're facing it it'll be the right side um, uh, um, this side is the one that kind of gives the router a little bit of trouble just make sure you go slow only take off very little that's all you need to create these grooves it's just very little and it, it creates that um, look you're looking for uh, if you feel again if you feel it fighting you're taking off too much um, but going slow walking it down towards the edge uh, the last two to three can be a little difficult maybe if you have someone on the side to kind of help hold it up while you're setting it all up um, it can be a little heavy but um, it's doable I definitely recommend probably taking a break halfway through and kind of seeing where you're at um a machine does this so a machine does this over and over and over but with us we'll get tired and what can happen is you'll get tired uh, and you're just gonna kind of let it slip a little bit ruin the whole thing there's not really fixing it uh, you can fix minor stuff but so definitely it's better just to take a break um, in the middle of it kind of rest your mind a little bit and then get back to it because it's it's a lot of cutting now we're gonna do the easy side which is I'm facing it it'll be the left side the router should ride down it pretty easy all right let's finish it up and the other adjustment I made to this is I actually made the two holes for the router so the rounded edge is the one that you always want towards the center we're going this way um, so I'm, I'm gonna be cutting this side so we're we'll going down this way the left side of it easy um, when we go to that side I don't want to turn it because I don't that won't um, that's gonna make it a little rough for me what I did is I just made this jig slide down and then right here we're using this one so the router is still facing the same way and still going down the same way. I just finished using the router coming down this way like this. So all I'm going to do is bring it this way and use the router this way. It's going to be facing the same direction. If I'm using it this way, I come here and it's still the same direction. I've zoomed in a little bit. There was a little bit that I need to clean up here. All you're really doing is just getting a chisel. Chisel, I have you really zoomed in right now just so you can see a little bit in here. But this was pretty clean. Uh, even from far away, you weren't going to notice any of this. But um, I decided to zoom in and kind of just show you a little bit. You're just going to be finding any edges and just kind of clean it up with a chisel. A chisel is super sharp. So, and this is plywood cut really easy. You're just barely shaving off some edges just like that. But um, I even tried it earlier. You can actually uh, use this with the X-Acto knife. And I was doing the same thing. You just want to be very careful. But you're just shimming off any extra thing. So it lines up a lot cleaner. Really, I don't need to do any more than what this is. You're zoomed in really good. From a step back, you don't see any of this. I just wanted to show you in case yours is a little off. Uh, definitely invest a couple of dollars into just some cheap chisels and this is plywood it's going to go through really really easily um, but if not you can use just an, a knife just be very careful and thank you everybody for the support from watching the videos liking subscribing purchasing anything from the etsy shop that we have and also the new website that we just started so thank you everybody for the support we really appreciate it. i'll catch you in the next video i actually have a couple of videos coming up pretty good mm -hmm.